Finishing a butt joint without tapered edges can be difficult, but with the right tools, you can easily make the joint disappear. The cover-up process begins once the tape has been applied and the compound has dried. Before you start applying the compound, it's a good idea to thin it with water. Mix thoroughly. This will help the compound spread out evenly. To get an idea of where to add compound, place a taping knife over the tape and onto the wall to see the void that needs to be filled. Using a medium width taping knife, apply compound over the joint, spreading it out to fill the voids. Remove excess compound so it's smooth and flat. Once the compound has dried, knock off leftovers that might be sticking up with a taping knife. Now apply a second coat with a wide knife over the top of the joint, spreading it out at least 12 inches on both sides. Now's the time to break out the secret weapon, the Pro Skim Blade from Marshalltown. The Pro Skim comes in widths from 12 to 48 inches. The blade is thin and flexible, allowing it to float over the joint, but also flex to feather out the compound. Carefully start at the top of the wall and apply even pressure as you pull the blade downward. Remove excess compound from the blade. If necessary, go over the joint again until the joint feathers out on both sides. Be careful not to remove too much compound. The end result should look almost ready to paint. Once the mud is dry, lightly sand the joint. A radial pole sander helps keep the joint flat without digging in. The extension pole makes it easy to reach high spots, but also provides leverage while sanding. One way to see the high and low spots are to spray a light coat of dark spray paint over the joint. As you sand, the low spots will be revealed, leaving paint behind. Sand until the paint disappears. If there are too many low spots, don't keep sanding. Reapply a light second coat of compound and sand again. Be sure to check out the full line of drywall tools available from Marshalltown for your next drywall project.